Hi, I'm Scott Ferguson, uh, an editor with Light Reading and Security Now. We're at RSA 2018 here in San Francisco, and I'm talking with Sage Wagner. He is the Senior Sales Engineer for RiskSense. Sage, thank you very much for talking to us today. Happy to be here, Scott. Thank you. Um, so what are you demoing here at RSA this year? So we're demoing our uh, RiskSense solution, which is a vulnerability management and cyber risk platform to help companies large companies, small companies, uh, all sizes of all industry to manage their cyber risk through the vulnerabilities. Now, who is the audience for this type of product? Who, who is your customer base for it? So that's a good question. So our, our audience is primarily threefold. First and foremost, like a CIO. Uh, with a CIO, it really adapts our cyber risk scoring, really helps them talk to a board about the risk at a level that they can translate, you know, not in the bits and bytes of the cyber speak. <laughs> And then we also relate very well with the CISOs, the CISO, because they have the more technical track. And so our vulnerability management solution does a lot around attack surface, helping them to understand the true risk from a vulnerability perspective. And then finally, we also the security analysts, because they are the ones who have to actually prioritize vulnerabilities and ultimately solve them. So we, a lot of what the platform does works very effectively for them. Great. And now you have a you have a demo set up for us. You're going to take us through this a little bit. Can uh, can we see what you got? Sure, I'll be happy to. Thanks, Absolutely. Great. As you see, this is our executive dashboard, and so the primary thing is our risk score. And our risk score, what it does, is allows us to understand an asset like a server or a vulner or even maybe a router. And we when we know that asset and the vulnerabilities that exist, we can now then look at external threat feeds for ex uh, exploits, malware, default credentials things that might raise the likelihood of an event. And ultimately, we also provide a business criticality. So the organizations might know that one server is very critical to the organization for production data, another server may not be. So then we allow them to label that, all factoring into the risk score, which rolls from the asset all the way up to the organizational level. What this allows them to do, Scott, is to be able to understand their entire organization, the risk, from a vulnerability perspective. And then we also provide a grouping function, and ultimately we even provide the ability to what we call a collection manager. And that allows us to bring things into a project, like let's say a PCI, uh, where it's a compliance initiative. So we can track vulnerabilities, not just in mass numbers, but we can track them by projects, whether it be the compliance initiative or any other project that they're related to. And then finally, when we get to the actual vulnerabilities themselves, you'll see large numbers in the thousands. We're able to leverage our intuitive smart filters, which then allows us to prioritize the vulnerabilities for whatever makes sense for what their initiatives are. A quick example would just be the criticality of an asset. If it's five, and I add this, you'll see a significant reduction in the number of assets or vulnerabilities. We went from 8,000 to 297. This is how we're able to condense information for what matters most to the organization and then ultimately allowing them to make the effective decision to prioritize these and then assign them to the users for remediation. That's the goal. Sage, that was a great demo. Thank um, you. Where does RiskSense want to take this pro uh, product from, from here? Where, what's the future going to look like? Well, that's a really good question. And so we have a lot of great ideas for what we want to do in the future. The real challenge is just trying to m figure out what matters most now to ultimately get there. But ultimately what we want to do, Scott, is take this platform and get deeper into the patch management, more around containers. Obviously that's a big issue in today's society, integrating the DevOps and the containers and how that ties back to a full system view. And then again, bringing all this information for web applications, for network infrastructure, for databases, for IoT devices, and again, being able to track and give them a true understanding of their attack surface the ability to patch quickly and know which ones will provide the most value and track it back to key project initiatives. So that's where we're headed with the product. Great. Well, Sage, thank you very much. Happy to help. Thank you.